What's up guys, and today we got the Courtly Joey Bosa, 82 overall, no power up boost, no nothing, just a base card itself, 71 speed, 79 strength, 86 finesse move, I'm going to be talking a lot about that, and unfortunately the 62 block shed. Now, this card right here, man, let me tell you right now, game one, alright, this guy was pressuring the quarterback, sacking the quarterback, the guy was not a joke, I mean look at this man, making the quarterback scramble, panic, he did not get the sack, but that does not matter man. He forced that quarterback to, to panic, run out of the pocket, improvise, and nothing. Here he goes again. So, man, I think I played a total of oh, let's see, maybe six or seven games with him. Not once was he locked down, man. He was making his present felt. And I play against guys with teams that are, like, already stacked. I'm sure you guys have, too. I know I'm not the only one playing against guys who already have, like, amazing like, 90 overall players. And even against those teams, man, he was making his presence felt. So, guys, I mean... I can't say enough about this game. I mean, look at this man. And believe it or not, I actually had a lot more clips, and and I do mean a lot more of, of him doing the same thing. And that is not something that I expected to find so soon. Unfortunately, it's not all high praise. There is one thing that was also noticeable, and that is the run game. The block shedding it showed its ugly face. I have all these highlights of him pressuring the quarterback and sacking and whatnot. I have zero run defense plays. Not once did I see him block shit and uh, tackle a running back or a fullback or anything, man. And that is, you know, not a surprise because his previous cards were uh, pretty much the same way. But my advice is if you're going to get him on your team, make sure you have a really good either defensive tackle next to him or a really good linebacker behind him to help out in the running game. Because if you're if he's all by himself on the edge with no with no assistance or even if you like to use your that side of the field because for me I use the opposite side of the field so I have to depend on my other players to help him out so anyways guys let's gonna wrap this up he goes for about 30,000 right now and that's not too bad that's almost a steal considering how good he is and because right now there are not that many great offensive linemen that are gonna you know balance out his 86 finesse move I would say right now as we speak as this video is going up, this guy is definitely someone that's going to be a very good player for your team right now. Obviously, throughout the time, you know, once more offensive tackles get put in the game and whatnot, his I'm sure his um, dominance will start to uh, dwindle. But as of right now, if you're looking for a great pass rusher from like day one, that's going to be making his presence known. Go with Joey Bosa right now, definitely. He's not even that expensive, thirty thousand, nothing. But Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you will be up to date with the content when it drops. I'll see you boys next time. Peace.